or my homes and the zoning is only involved in this? That, that's what the zoning would allow, actually. You are zoning it. Huh? You are zoning it. No, no. The, the current zoning would allow for this. From one, from one family home to nine yeah, years? Yeah, to, to ten, actually. Yeah.
the project here is ownership, it's, it's home for ownership. You have immediate access right outside of the property to, rapid, to a major rapid transit line leading into employment opportunities in the downtown area or across the street to get hop on the bus going to Alhambra, okay? You also have some established businesses there, whether it's the mini mall right there with the Antigua and the subway, and then with the uh, Charlie's Trio pizza plates on the corner, they used to have trees in front of it, but I cut down the trees. But uh, the point is, this type of property does blend in, does fit in, because you have ownership, but you also are, in a sense, you're creating a more buy-in factor for that little part, part in the Huntington Corridor where they'll just have businesses in place and then also the capability of these people to, to utilize the transportation infrastructure and to plan some very good and go from there. So I'm, if I was sitting on this committee like I was before, I would be in any affirmative on this project and moving it forward based upon some of those issues too. Thank you very much. Just one more. Um, yes. Just a recommendation if possible. As the gentleman mentioned, maybe uh, the committee can come up with some names that maybe you know, the can suggest to the gentleman regarding the name of the uh, establishment there. Just a recommendation. I mean, I know it's his, but yes. uh, if, well, uh, yeah. personally, I, I, you know, I don't mind. Like, a, I would like to take a proactive approach to this whole thing. So I can see this project like during construction. I can get people involved, like local church people. And like um, when I advertise, I can advertise all the restaurants and all the fine, you know, ethnic, authentic, real, you know, Mexican food that's around here. Not the, you know, so yeah, I, I wanted to be proactive, and even me personally, you know, I know there there are projects in the community that is, you know, this community garden, this the May Press bungalow, and stuff like that. You know, it, 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 you know, I can lend a hand in terms of. Uh, providing my uh, expertise and construction or, or, or design, I, I would be happy to, to be part of it also. So, so I, any other further comments? Okay, so I, I just have a question. This property that is now standing at this location, yes. is this your property? Do you yes. own this? Well, my family. Your family. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're not the developer, you're not coming in as the entity to speak on behalf. No. You actually own the property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to know. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, so it put on the agenda for an action. We're asking for a letter of recommendation to bring up the entity report. So, how much of the fields or any motions and about the size presenting it to the general board. Please take into consideration he's waited four months. He's doing his project by right. Um, and he's come every month trying to get involved with the neighborhood council. He's attended our meetings and sure he's part of the election. So it's not going to take into consideration. Well, my response would be, I'm not sure how you would present the actual recommendation. But I know that there's a template, right? If I'm not mistaken, there's a template where we could just put that we, on this date, we discussed it, and this is what we came from, and we asked no, and how we vote. Or do you want to create a whole new we letter? We create a motion, and then we present it to the board, right? So that the committee agrees to support the project and how we move forward, then a motion to be brought forward. <coughs> then we have to create a motion. Okay. What would you like to I think they have information, so I'm not going to vote negative. So you want to vote off until another meeting? Maybe we want to have a I agree with what you're saying, that there's not a lot of information. I mean, I can see diagrams and I can, I can understand, you know, some of this, but if we could get that copy was sent to us, I think that's one of those more in-depth information that we don't have yet, you know, as far as completing our, our, um, our questioning and our research along with it. So I think if we got that first, we could do another special meeting. Would you agree with special meeting on my Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Assist with, with making sure you guys follow the process. Uh, this, since this is a non funding issue, there would be a motion coming from the committee, but it would be a resolution to support or deny the project. So basically, that's what you ask the executive committee is to place a resolution on the agenda. The resolution would be a standard uh, template that's used uh, basically to cover the meeting, the public comment. But I really like the idea, I believe, that one of the stakeholders and yourself brought up is to have these contingencies or something, some type of consider, uh, considerations. And if if between now and July the 2nd, these considerations have not been met, then the committee at that time would not present the motion and withdraw the recommendation, but at least you're allowed for the process to occur between now and July the 2nd, so the gentleman here doesn't have to wait another month 
And then if at the time the expectations of deliverance or no one came to the meeting to support the project, not even one neighbor, you could say, we will not make the motion today, we want at least a neighbor to be here, and then you could wait a month, rather than trying to make a decision now and delay time and be active or proactive, like he says. And some, someone can perhaps make the recommendation, and once it gets to the executive committee, the general board will not hear it until the committee feels comfortable that they still wish to present it. Thank you. Have our conclusion and then move forward on the second. So, whatever the recommendation or the resolution should be, we definitely need to put on the motion. It's not a motion, it's a resolution, right? It's a motion, but yeah, when it gets to the general board, it will be called a resolution. Now it's a motion. You guys, you guys have to vote. Motion that the LA32 and the Council um, support the Project. What is the name of the project? Uh, it's short, short mile travel. Okay, so that language we have to go over there. Yeah. And the name of the gentleman and the location. And then, um, and then pending whatever. With, with whatever conditions that we have. Yeah, pending the conditions of, and then we would have the 500 foot outreach um, at least one neighbor to come and speak on their behalf. I mean, I don't know how you want to mind the ship. Okay, so here, well, here's what I would recommend is that we, LE32NC, support the project with the short line villa track for Mr. David Lau, his information, and pen, er, in contingent to review of the litigating negative declaration mm -hmm. and community outreach. Mm -hmm. That would be my option to fill out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what would the date be? It would be a date that yeah, um, you would. You can send me the information. Well, you know, I can, I can go to a printing place, yeah. and, or I can you know, take it back to the office and scan it either way if you want hard copy. You can just go out. Um, we can have a special. If you need a hard copy, what is the library? Do you need one hard copy? You should have a special. Because the general, the second thing is on the 23rd. So we would have to turn this in pending. So we would have a special land use meeting next. And then if we feel uncomfortable that the information still hasn't been met, we will ask the executive committee to withdraw. So, uh, so we could, when it could be meeting next, have a special land use meeting. So our next special land use meeting. I would say Tuesday would be a good day because the understanding is Wednesday is the meeting, the 23rd? Um, yeah. Because I can't do the day, but it's already Are you available on Tuesday? Yes, I am. So let's, so I'm going to send, put out a motion for LA32 NC to support the project. Uh, the short line villa tract lot located at 5639 East Huntington Drive North. Consider, uh, Pending the community outreach input and the mitigating negative declaration to be reviewed by the Land Use and Development Committee on June 24, 2014, and recommend to moving forward to the general board. Um, Make sense? Okay. Just at the end of it, if you can um, put down the voting power with the notes. So that they know that, so okay, wait a minute. I'm looking at our calendar and it says the twenty third is the executive board meeting, yeah. so that it would not have it would not be on the twenty third. Yes, we put to the executive committee and we're if I'm wrong with this. If we present this to the executive committee, we can present this motion as a support. However, if by next week we still feel like there's issues and actually I think we better twenty fourth because I would need at least a week to be able to go door knocking and maybe show the neighbors are okay with this project. So I would say by the end, maybe Thursday or Friday, I would say Thursday to work on that. And then if the committee still feels uncomfortable, we can always request or table the item at the general board. So even if the executive committee puts it on the agenda recommend, we can always table the item pending more information. But at least we can get him uh, started in the process. Just consider what we can do. So this week we have the 21st, 20th, 21st. And then we will go back from the 3rd to the 27th to have all that information 
walking and knocking, finding out who the you know, stakeholders, what their concerns are. Put it out there on the uh, website, maybe, and see if there's anybody on Yahoo that has any you know, comments to that. And then by the 26th or the 27th, we can reconvene again. So that would either be Thursday or Friday. Thank you very much. As long as it's done before the next general board meeting, we're okay. Which is the second part. Exactly. Right. Which is the one that we have a little bit of time to plan it amongst us. Oh, well, we can move it to the 30th, which is that Monday before the second. So why don't we do this? Let's put the motion out first and pending the uh, final outcome of the committee. Mm -hmm. And then we can present this. I can email this to the executive board so they can put it on the agenda for Monday. Again, I'm sure they'll get us all the information we need. It gives you time to review most about the historical part of the property. And I could do the door knocking and we can all the That'd be great. So, so where does the meeting, what projected date would it be? I would say by the 27th. Okay, the 27th. So the 26th is out. Yeah. Okay. So we can do it on So can we pass this motion? Considering you need me to read the motion? Or I need to see what you wrote. So we write it out for you and I'll read the motion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Second it and just have one of your committees. That's why I said I would make it and then you can second it. I don't think you read my brain. I've been a teacher for 25 years. I'm sure you spent that It just shows you're impartial. Or the city requires something. Depending on the nature of 
the request for this type of request is typically impossible. So a thousand would include the um, house in the back, right? right. The next. Oh, 500 would include the house. I can show you. Yeah, show us where the.
I will call you so you can get me the information. Sure. And as soon as I get it, I'll set up. Okay. Thank you. 